Fire Postal here. So today we are, we are, what are we doing? We are taking out the Doe 335. We must be on EU. So I am lucky enough to have somebody um, who follows me on YouTube um, and Twitch for that matter, I guess, um, gift me this plane. Uh, he knows I've been um, grinding, grinding, grinding for credits on EU. And you know what? Let's go get the mining facility first. Let's push for that. Um, and he offered to get me a P80 or an XP55, two planes that I typically recommend to everybody and their brother. Um, well, the XP58, excuse me, I meant. Uh, because I think it is a very, very good heavy plane. Um, but I figured if I was going to be um, going uh, and getting a new a premium plane, um, I might as well get something I haven't gotten before. One that I think um, will help me out eventually on this particular server. There we go. Um, certainly is a pretty darn good plane. Let's go ahead and we're going to move across the uh, field here. Ooh, hello, sir. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, you got the boost. Keep on boosting, sir. How's it feeling? Thank you. Excellent. So we've got our... I don't even know what. Is that is that symbol just for our engine? It's just our engine knocked out? You'd think with one engine we could still be moving relatively quickly. But what do I know? Uh, let's go ahead and head across the center here. Actually going to... We need to send people this way, but I think... Hmm, got a Spitfire 14. Alright, cool. So we're going to head across the center, because I suspect the Spitfire 14 is going to be in the center. Yeah, there he is. And we'll just get some hit points back, maybe, possibly. And then we'll continue on. Oh, maybe not. We've got to get ourselves an RB-17. Letting off the um, guns every once in a while just to get let them um, cool off a little bit. It's the 30 cal that I really want to be hitting hard here. What? I didn't even get that freaking kill? Bang! Alright, so let's go ahead. We're gonna move along to here. We've got a B32, is that what that is? Oh, it's U2. Well, we'll be okay. Um, we're definitely gonna be paying attention to what the hell is going on here. As I move along, I'm not used to this plane, so I don't know it's, um... It's um, defensive capabilities. Basically, it's ability to take care of itself. Seems to be okay, though. Um, let's go ahead and get our boost back on here. We've got our... Um... Can I seriously just straight up dive down? Oh, I did not mean to drop all three of those. I meant to just drop two of them, but hey. Get what you get. I suspect I will need um, an engine restart eventually on this plane. Yep. If I had my engine restart on there, I probably would have been a lot better off. But we definitely did some damage to the um, airbase there. Screwed up the whole uh, level of attack. Oh, both bombers are over here. Hmm. Alright, so I guess we better go get our... Uh, I can't. I'm not helping you with the airbase, dude. We're about to lose the mining facility. If you can't handle Spitfire duties, then maybe you shouldn't be in a Spitfire. Let's go ahead and get over to the mining facility. Let's get some more people to help our Spitfire. We gotta get this RB-17. They're about to flip the sector, whether I kill him or not. Get 
if I can kill him. Oh, okay. Excellent. It's the joy of the um, reinforced ball carriers that I've got on here is let me just hold down the frickin' trigger with this 30 millimeter cannon. Which is pretty darn nice. Get some uh, help over here on said uh, mining facility. Don't think I can take it on my own, especially since I've got another freaking minute before my bombs are reloaded. Let's see what I can do versus the um, ground attack planes here. Get these 30 millimeter cannons on target. I put reinforced ball carriers on here because uh, because it was the equipment that I had for free. So um, this experimental ball carriers seems to be doing pretty okay though. Let's see if I can't knock out this RV-17 again. I'm all out of boost, unfortunately. So. Go mainly because I don't have a choice. So kill this guy at least. Excellent. We desperately need to get that. Um, that right there. On. Let's see if I can't get something knocked out here. Um, I-260. Come on, get my gun on target. Never mind. That gun on target. Excelente. Here. We cannot support you any longer. The storm is too heavy. Do you copy? Over. No, let's get this guy. One German to another. I think I might have just accidentally killed a friendly. Which is always unfortunate. All right, so we've got that mining facility. That's certainly going to help. Oh, shoot. Uh, F7F is one of the more maneuverable uh, heavy planes, isn't it? Let's see if I can't use my speed here. Shoot. My altitude performance, my something or other. My F7 button. Can't really see what I'm shooting at here. There he is. Attention, all fighters. Come on. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Double dang it. Alright, dude. Stop it. Just stop it. Dang it, dang it, triple dang it. Yeah, they need me to get that RB-17. Actually, both me and the Spitfire-14 are now dead, so this could be... This could be a lot of trouble. Um, we'll... Oh, uh, well, we can, we can... We're gonna win this. We can hold on to the mine. So, so, obviously, the dough is not... Well, I don't have it set up for maneuverability, so it's obviously at the end of the turn of maneuver when I really should have been. I definitely need to get used to the accuracy on the cannon, but man, this plane can freaking hurt. Um, it's one 30 millimeter cannon, it is clearly doing some work. And this can definitely be a carry pants plane. Holy cow, that's a screenshot there. Alright, so we were able to... Oh, dang it, I'm such a freaking moron and I hate myself sometimes. Alright, so, we were able to get 14 kills. Um, 15,000 personal ex points. 
Um, doing some work there. Great game from... Oh, Hanaheim. Nice! If you don't know what that's from, well... Well, I don't know if it's from what I think it's from, but... Um, I'm thinking it's from Full Metal. Uh, we were able to just counter this RB17. I'm assuming this RB17 is probably a pretty good player, considering I killed him like 17 times. Um... <laughs> Uh, let's see, I killed him two times, but I know I damaged him a hell of a lot, so even though he died five times, I'm pretty sure I had a, a hand in at least four of those. Um, first impressions of this plane, of this, uh, not this plane, not that plane, of this plane, pretty damn good. Um, keep in mind, I'm not even sure this is exactly how I want this plane to eventually be set up. The fact of the matter is... Um, I kind of just threw it together because, what is this one even for? Oh, okay. This is a, a historical medal. So you get this. I haven't, I got this probably a million years ago on NA. Um, the fact of the matter is I don't think this is set up in the best way possible. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I'll walk you guys through it. So I've got a five point pilot in here because I've got a C6 pilot that I won. Um, and so I put him in here. Eventually this C6 pilot will be a, I don't know, an ME410 pilot or something. We'll find out. Um, let's talk about the guns first. And the bombs, for that matter. Um, the guns, you've got this 30 millimeter cannon. This is doing most of your damage, and it's a far-reaching cannon. I'm super tempted to just do long barrel um, long gun barrels, but we'll talk about that in a second. Give it some even more range. It seems to be doing okay for me, though, to be honest. Um, even with the regular range of approximately 1,000 meters, um, 32, 3,300 feet. The combination of this 30 millimeter cannon and these two 15 millimeter machine guns, which are, are very, very strong, actually. They're, they're definitely stronger than, like, 50 cal machine guns. Um, Pretty significant on this plane. Pretty darn significant. I was kind of worried that three guns, especially with two of them just being machine guns, was going to be not quite enough. But this is obviously doing the damage. Obviously doing the damage, right? Um, you've got four bombs. I thought these were a faster reload, but two minutes is not the worst. Um, two of them are internal and two of them are out on the wing. So it's kind of a, kind of a mixed bag. It's kind of cool. Kind of odd. Um, because you're, you're obviously still being impacted, um, your airspeed is being impacted by the two out on the wings. Um, it'd be cool if they were all internal, but it is what it is, right? Very, um, very good bombs. I need to get used to, to um, you know, how many I can drop in any given sector. This particular battle, we did a little bit of capping there in the beginning, and then we were forced to kind of just bomb kill um, and defend a little bit. Never ever got over to that command center, uh, but c'est la vie. Um, as far as the service is concerned, keep in mind this is completely based on... Um, well, two of the items here are based on I had them in my, um, I had them in my hangar. So we'll start with those first. I kind of looked at the, the overall um, metrics of this plane, compared it to other planes at this tier, um, so G even jets, things of that nature, this plane's faster than. A 262, it's not quite faster than. Um, let's compare it really quick. 262, it's not faster than. As far as just overall speed numbers is concerned. 262 starts off at 71. Um, its airspeed obviously is going to get higher as you um, earn the um, engines to it and then specialize it. 262 is going to be significantly faster. Um, at least until I specialize the Dornier, and it's going to still be faster even after I specialize the Dornier. Um, but I was looking at things like a 109 TL. Well, the Dornier is definitely faster than that. Base, it was a little bit under 70 um, as far as the Dornier was concerned. Um, base, the 109 TL is 61. So let's take a quick look at some other heavy fighters. Nope, nothing here. But I did compare it to um, the I-260, which is the Dornier is clearly faster than. Even compared it to the RB-17, which the Dornier is faster than. Obviously, the RB-17's got a huge boost advantage. 
Um, so let's take a quick look at some of the um, some of the other planes out here. P80. So this is a tier eight premium jet. Um, you've got better base speed than that. The XP58. Better base speed than the XP58. Um, XF5U. Better base speed than the XF5U. You can kind of see where I'm going here, right? Um, it's definitely going to have better. I didn't even check the, the, yeah. So actually, it's just barely better spe uh, base speed than the, the 1056. I didn't realize the 1056 had that much more speed than everything else. Keep that in mind for a different video. Um, and so, you know, just looking at the things that you might run into, even the 1056 has slightly less speed than the Dornier. And so my focus was, well, what the heck, let's go for speed. Uh, what reinforced my thought process on that was... I actually had the experimental polished skin sitting in the um, in my hangar, so I tossed that on there. Yeah, it messes up your maneuverability a little bit, but you're in a heavy fighter. I'm not overly worried about my maneuverability, even though the maneuverability is quote unquote good for a heavy fighter in this plane. It's still the heavy fighter. I might um, might worry about maneuverability at a later time. Um, so I put the experimental polished skin on here. It's the same reason I put the experimental bolt carriers on here because I had this sitting in my hangar and I don't have a whole lot of uh, credits on EU yet. I will soon though, because I'm gonna be flying the crap out of this plane, I'm quite sure of it. Um, what's very odd about the reinforced uh, bolt carriers is it actually works very well with this plane. I was able to hold, there wasn't a lot of times where I was, um, I think there was only one time I can think of off the top of my head where I was, um, you know, I, I wasn't able to use my guns because they froze up. Um, and I don't think I was tapping, tapping like you, you really want to with any of the 30 millimeter cannons. I wasn't tap, tap, tapping to allow the guns to cool down in between. Um, yeah, so the, the, the bolt carriers are actually working out pretty well for this plane. I don't know if that's what I'll keep. I was talking about potentially going with a long gun barrels just to get the range of the fire to be longer, you know, get the 30 millimeter cannon hitting farther. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. This is kind of, it's kind of pleasant to be able to just kind of hold down the guns and, and really go to work with your uh, 30 millimeter and 15 millimeter cannons. To balance out the um, accuracy ding that you get with the bolt carriers, I've gone ahead and put the gyroscopic sight on here. I was really tempted to actually use the navigational radio equipment on this plane. Um, this plane is so quick that not being seen for as long as possible can 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 be a game changer, right? I don't know if it'd be the right setup for the Dornier. Um, I'd love to hear from the community, see how you guys have your plane set up. Keep in mind, obviously, mine's not specialized. And on top of that, this is by far my, my most experienced pilot for Germany, since I am going down the British line for EU right now. Uh, my German... Um, pilot is this. This is the extent of my German pilot. So, um, don't don't be you know saying you know set up you know, use this pilot skill or, or um, you know this kind of setup because I don't have the plane specialized. Um, anyway, so navigational radio equipment will allow me to not be seen for as long as possible until I'm on them and hopefully killing them. Um, and so yeah, that's why I was kind of thinking in in that regard. Um, I do have cockpit armor sitting in the um, in my hangar, but I don't really want to. Like, I didn't. My, my pilot got knocked out once, and for me, in a heavy fighter or a light fighter, for that matter, or multi-role fighter, I don't really use cockpit armor. Um, I try to find a way to avoid getting hit in the first place. In the Dornier, that's with speed. In a light fighter, it's, it's typically with maneuverability, but sometimes it's with speed. Um, the multi-roll is just using your, your eyeballs on the map and avoiding getting the hits in the first place. So I typically use cockpit armor for things like um, GAs. And, well, mainly GAs, because bombers I'll typically use radio equipment if I can. Anyway, that's a different story. So anyway, I'd love to hear your guys' opinion on how to set this plane up. Again, keep in mind, I don't need to hear people going, you freaking putts postal, what the hell are you even thinking, putting a bolt carrier on here. Um, I get it. I know there's other options. I want to hear your options. And once I've got, you know, millions of credits, I will come back and, and maybe adjust um, what I do on this plane. I almost certainly on my consumable here, 
Um, once I do get it specialized, I know I'll be putting manual engine restart on here, just because I the engine got knocked out a little, quite a bit. The rear engine is going to get knocked out just because it's a rear freaking engine. It's not just asking to get taken out. Um, so yeah. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, thank you so much. I really would appreciate any kind of assistance you guys can give. Um, and I am definitely, I, I'm definitely looking forward to playing this plane more. Super special sp uh, shout out to Be Hike. Um, I'm really bad at this. I've had a couple people that have gotten me some um, premiums, uh, although nobody to the to the level of um, of him. Um, and I'm really bad at, at giving the shoutouts, and so I apologize to everybody that I haven't, because um, I know I've got a lot of support from, from the community, and I can't thank everybody enough. Um, but specifically in this situation, um, I want to thank Bahike for purchasing this plane. Although he, he specifically was asking me, um, you know, what my favorite premium, tier 8 premium in the game was, and then um, submitted to have me purchase that particular plane. I went back to him and I said, hey, you know, I've already got the XP-58 as a, as a starter plane, as a starter premium tier 8 plane. That's a great plane. I recommend the XP-58. Um, it's just, it's got a, um, it's got an ease about it. It's easy to get used to. It's easy to, to be successful in. And it's still good enough that even an experienced pilot can, can still maximize that plane. But I wanted to try something new on EU. Um, I wanted to have a, a, a different tier 8 plane that maybe I could, you know, it'll, you know make me go back to the EU all the time and, and make sure that I'm flying both servers as often as possible. Um, and so, yeah, he was very accommodating. Um, and so, yeah, so I've got a Dornier 335 A1. Uh, this is an excellent plane. I'm, I've, I mean, this is, you know, we're one game in, right? So if anybody's saying, is this plane worth it? I like it. <laughs> one came in. Um, I can't imagine this being a bad plane, but I, I can't recommend or or not recommend this plane after one game. Give me give me a month, um, honestly a month, and then mainly just because I I can't play it you know for for six hours straight. I just don't have the uh, personal time to do that, and that's really what I would feel comfortable at that point saying. Okay, here's who it's a good plane for. Here's who it's a bad plane for. Um, kind of situation. Um, and definitely what I'll tell uh, anybody is if you do decide to try to purchase a premium aircraft, if you've got, I mean, this has got a whole freaking hole burning in your pocket to spend money, wait until there's discounts, right? There's eventually discounts. Sometimes it's two months down the road, six months down the road, whatever. Do you need a tier eight premium right now? Um, even if I recommend this plane or an XP 58, um, and wait till it's on discount. Till it's thirty percent or fifteen percent off. Every dollar counts, right? We're all uh, you know slaving away for the man for every dollar we can get. Uh, Any time that that you can save a couple bucks here and there, even for a tier A premium, um, I I I just highly recommend it. So anyway, I like this plane a lot. Right out of the gate, I'm definitely gonna hop right back into some more games, um, and I'll get back to you on um, you know what kind of changes I made and who I think this plane uh, will fit for. Thank you so much for joining me and have a great day. Bye.